working alongside me in the office uh, for Joe Huffle uh, and in the efforts uh, for Joe Huffle was Representative Tim Briggs from Montgomery County. He's been a great friend to Joe and a great leader in his own right in Montgomery County, Representative Tim Briggs. Thanks, Josh. I thought I knew Joe for quite a while until Mark said that he knew him for 35 years. It's, it's pretty impressive and uh, I'm glad that after that long he was to stand here, stand here with Joe. Um, Joe was the, the trendsetter in Montgomery County winning races that other Democrats uh, were having a hard time winning. Um, the, the, the growth of the Democratic Party in Montgomery County, I really give a lot of credit to uh, Joe for making that happen. Um, he's the progressive voice that we need in Harrisburg to fight for the, the issues that I care about, educating our kids and protecting the environment. Um, he really is going to reach out to the whole region and the whole state, and I know he's going to be able to, to deliver um, southeastern Pennsylvania and win in the primary. So I'm proud to be here and supporting Joe's efforts. Thanks. Thank you, Representative Briggs. While well, you see a lot of members here from southeastern Pennsylvania, uh, Joe's support is across the Commonwealth. Uh, as evident by at least one of our senior members who was able to be with us today, uh, Bob Freeman from Northampton County. Representative Bob Freeman. Good afternoon. I am very pleased uh, to be here today to endorse the gubernatorial candidacy of Joe Huffle. Uh, Mark uh, Cohen and I, I believe, are the two senior members who served with Joe when he served in the House. And we've watched Joe throughout his uh, political endeavors, throughout his public service. Uh, Joe embodies the very finest the best in a public servant. He is a man of enduring integrity, of intellectual ability, who has a great grasp of policy and policy initiatives, and also understands that at the end of the day, the success of any administration is what it can achieve on behalf of the people of this Commonwealth. I know, having watched Joe through his capacity as a state legislator, as a congressman, and in local government, that he will champion what needs to be done in order to move this Commonwealth forward very positive way. Uh, he is committed to a progressive agenda that will address the real needs of the working families of Pennsylvania, of the middle class of Pennsylvania, and he will work tirelessly on their behalf to achieve what needs to be done to make Pennsylvania a much better place. At this time in our history, when the public is tired of the partisan bickering ship, when they're tired of the inability of government to achieve great things, I believe, I firmly believe, that with the leadership of Joe Huffle, we can achieve those great things. We can deliver on the promise of Pennsylvania. And I can think of no finer individual to have as our state's governor than Joe Huffle. Thank you, Representative Green. Uh, we, we should certainly talk about Joe's political accomplishments. And Montgomery County looked like a very different place before Joe Huffle arrived on the scene as a state representative and then as county commissioner. Joe Huffle has, I think, together with many others, but Joe Huffle has been the leader of turning around Montgomery County from a red county to a very blue county. Uh, two recipients of the political help that Joe Huffle has been able to bring about in Montgomery County stand behind me today who are now representatives in the General Assembly as a result of the dramatic political change Joe has helped undertake in Montgomery County. I'd like to introduce first Representative Rick Taylor and then Representative Matt Bradford. Rick. I think the people who've talked before have said it very eloquently what Joe represents. But the first time I ever spoke with him was the day after I won an election and uh, for a borough council seat. And what a dedicated public servant. He wasn't, he just had left the Congress and he decided to, you know, continue to be an active member of the community, trying to make people's lives better. He gave me a call and he reminded me, instilled in me, what it means to be a public servant. And it is about making people's lives fundamentally better. And he has represented that. He has represented that time and time again. It's about standing up for those who don't have a voice, standing up, taking care of our most vulnerable adults, our most vulnerable children. And that represents what is good about government. It's what substantially makes this country such a great place to live. It's, he's the embodiment of that. And that's why I'm proud to endorse him as the next governor of Pennsylvania. Representative Taylor, Representative Matt Bradford from Montgomery County. <laughs> well, I want to join the chorus of representatives standing with Joe Huffle in his race for governor. Uh, being a new representative in Harrisburg and seeing the gridlock uh, over the last year, I 
truly have come to appreciate the need for a bipartisan leader. Joe Huff has brought bipartisan government to Montgomery County. He's done it because on policy issues, whether it's fighting for open space or revitalizing our urban core, Joe Huffle stands with the progressive center of the Democratic Party and, frankly, the party uh, that's going to uh, win the governorship uh, and keep the governorship with Joe Huffle at the helm. So I'm proud to stand with Joe, and thank you for joining me. One of the great new freshmen in our, uh, in our caucus is Representative Paul Drucker. Paul's fresh off passing is uh, one of his first bills out of committee, and he came here to be with Joe, Representative Paul Drucker from Tredifferent. Thank you. I'm, 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 I'm proud to be here in, in support of Joe Huffold and show my support for him in his race for governor. I think uh, of, of all the people standing behind me, uh, I know Joe the briefest period of time. I met him a little bit over two years ago when I first ran for office for the State House. In that short, uh, brief period of time, I have learned uh, that we've gotten to know Joe, that he is a progressive, forward-looking individual, and he's the type that represents a type of leadership that we, in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, desperately need to take us going forward into the future. Thank you.